All right, guys, we got two new four-wheelers. One of them was new back in 2002. This is a 400 Scrambler, and the other one is a 2024 Scrambler 1000. This one was $2,000, and this one was almost $20,000. I didn't even know that they made $20,000 four-wheelers, but we got one. So this thing better be good for the price tag. So this one's a two-stroke, which is pretty sweet. Sounds like a snowmobile. I legit think they were just selling good snowmobiles back in the day, and they were like, let's just throw it in the four-wheelers too. <laughs> Speaking of that, this little cluster right here with the headlights and the on and off switch in the reverse is the exact same on this four-wheeler. No 22 way. years old. They just made too many of them back in 2002 <laughs> and they were like, we gotta run these on every unit till we run out. That might be the only thing the same <laughs> on these four-wheelers. <laughs> You don't get a chance to break these suckers out too often, you know. I'm always begging to ride it. I'm not scared of it. Yeah, we're gonna take out the Banshee and then the R6 swap quad over here. That thing's crazy, dude. Also, this is a terrible idea to let Evan ride this. The terrible. new one? Yeah, it is. Awful. Be getting 12 o'clock like that. Cody, I tried to start it, but it's dead. Oh yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, All right, one more pusher. A ripper. Ken, oh my gosh, Ken, you good, Ken? Oh my god. <laughs> Ow. Man, Ken never really has been a rider, dude. I ripped my pants. Oh shit. Are you bleeding? Oh, look. oh, he's bleeding. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. It's always the big stunts that get a guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, man. All right, off to a hot start. You all right, Ken? this for this being his first time you know you might be a closet quad guy might be Don't riding be quads surprised. on the weekends that we don't know about can i tell you guys something i'm having a good time yeah i almost forgot we were riding quads i was smiling so big <laughs> it's like everyone's guilty pleasure like they might not want to admit it but it's pretty fun yeah, blur my face up for this whole video <laughs> <laughs> so hard for the street cred Of the case. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the chain oh, came off. That's fine. We've done that before. Yeah, we oh, have done no, that before, it, and it yeah, totaled it out. It toasted the whole motor. <laughs> dude. Oh my goodness, dude. My leg was right next to that. I think the worst part about this is to replace the R6 motor, you have to dismantle the entire four wheeler. We built the four wheeler around the motor, planning to never have to take it out. Well, Ryan, you fully graduated Evan's school of messing up R6s. I mean, I have blown two motors on this four wheeler. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Dude, I'm so glad that wasn't my freaking ankle. Ryan would still be trying to run it off. <laughs> I could still run. <laughs> you blew the chain. Mike was just hitting this jump, broke the chain. Oh no. <laughs> so Ryan put a chain through the R6 motor. Now Mike just snapped the chain. Just needs to put it in four wheel drive. He'll be fine. He's still got front wheel drive on it. No way. Blow the chain off and you can still get home. 
So bad news, the sprocket only has two teeth left along with the chain breaking. We don't have any other sprockets, but I drove this thing back in front wheel drive, so I might as well just finish up the day in front wheel drive. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible, honestly. Same, so it's actually like, this is this drive shaft that just, it's like wicked, it's pulling all over the place. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna run it like this. <laughs> Bro, try we'll try a reversal, stunt. Oh, can you wheelie it in reverse? Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, front wheel drive burnout. <laughs> about that. <laughs> oh, cool to do that. Dude, it looks like a Honda Civic in the supermarket parking lot. Mike's always at the disadvantage. If it's not the old machine, it's the broken one. <laughs> That's one way to get through the woods. Oh my gosh! Make you nervous on that one? <laughs> <laughs> it got a little greasy, that's all. All right, Ev's eyeing up the FMX ramp. I knew he'd do this. I knew he'd get out here, hit like three jumps, start feeling comfortable, and then go, all right, I think I can hit the FMX ramp. It looks like that's what he's doing. <laughs> Maybe got insurance on this thing. Didn't have time. Got it about eight hours ago. Oh my God. Holy dude. Are you doing it? Are you, are you doing it? He yeah, is. Get ready for me too. I've never seen anybody hit a FMX no. ramp on a sport utility car. Oh my god! Yeah! Let's go! Yeah! That's a really big jump for this big of a four-wheeler. Scary, bro. Good job. Thank you. I think it was actually easy, but that is terrifying. Like That rushed me out. <laughs> Dude, no denying it though, this quad is pretty freaking legit. I kind of love this thing. That's pretty crazy that you can do that on a 800, almost 900 pound four wheeler. The only thing we haven't done is put it in the mud. Almost went for a dip. Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, we probably got to keep this thing from turning into a submarine. Yo, guys, big thanks to DraftKings Sportsbook for sponsoring today's video. DraftKings is an official partner of the NFL, and new customers using our promo code CBOYSTV can bet just $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. So go ahead, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app, use our code CBOYSTV, and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Whether you're a Saturday college football fan or a diehard for the NFL, DraftKings has betting options for you. DraftKings customers can also get skin in the game with same game parlay. So if you're feeling like a high roller you can combine multiple bets within the same game for a shot at an even bigger payout so go ahead and download the app DraftKings Sportsbook use our promo code Seaboys TV and new customers can bet just five bucks on any wager and get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly that's promo code Seaboys TV only at DraftKings Sportsbook now back to the vid All right, Ev, here she is. Oh man, she's a beauty. <laughs> the green one, right? There's three Jeeps. We're just yeah. coming for one. There's four Jeeps here. Well, we oh might be God. coming back for more after this. Who knows? Let's <laughs> see how this goes. All right, so I don't know if you guys have seen those crusty videos of like the guys in Dubai where they two wheel 
the vehicles down the highway. We've seen people do it with like side by sides and stuff, but Evan is basically determined that he wants to learn how to do it. I think it's possible. We got to start cheap because I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of damage. The El Camino is too nice to learn on. Yeah, it's a pretty brutal like learning curve, I imagine. What are the odds that you do this first try and, and don't put one of these on the side? I think zero. <laughs> hey, I was going to say. E even if it goes well and I'm like doing it, I think like I'll still probably end up tipping because then I'll just like push it. Right. Like one way or the other, I think it's going to go sideways. Well, I take 15 on this one, I take a grand for that one. Oh, wow. I think we might have to go with the green F. Which one do you think will be better at two wheeling down the road? You know, like those guys in Dubai? Just freaking. Is that a real question? Uh, dead ass. <laughs> we'll take the green one. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did a nose wheelie. <laughs> oh my fuck. Tell me you got that shit. I hope so. <laughs> that looks aggressive. I hope that's as ridiculous as I think it was. What has happened? Oh my god. I wasn't even going that fast. I was like 50. Yes. Got right there. It's good. All right. This should do. Build us a little ramp, get the Jeep up on two wheels. All right, so we're gonna stack up these cinder blocks, lay a couple two by 12s across it, and that should get the Jeep on two wheels. When I hear like we need to build a ramp and then you guys show up with 60 cinder blocks, I got confused, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we're also gonna be building a retaining wall. Yeah, yeah right? Oh yeah, I, like that's this, is, this might be foolproof. What are the odds that this goes well? Oh, I think he's gonna just hit the ramp and immediately flip over. Oh, yeah. You sure this isn't too tall? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Let's get in the feel for it. He's close. I mean, this is like his fifth try. He's close. I think I just found a problem. I think it went to like one wheel wonder mode. Maybe we gotta weld the diff. Honestly. Let's try this again. Yeah! That's like the closest one yet. You got it, dude. I think it's in the bag. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Are you good, bro? Yeah, I'm fine, bro. <laughs> that was uh, really aggressive. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, you did just roll a car out, so we had to no. ask. Flip her over so she doesn't get ruined. I gotta try that again. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't look like it was structurally damaged. Oh, that is no. a little more crinkled. No, this side, this side's got some, some damage. That might be structural Wait, that damage. The That's the passenger side, though. Yeah, but I, I'm on the driver's side. Oh, you wanna do it again? Dude, that wasn't even close to a success. We'll see what the rig looks like when we flip her over, but yeah, I think it's got another one in it. Yep. Oh, no. oh man. We might have popped the radiator. How would you possibly think that, Ken? Yeah, what makes uh, it say I, that? I got a couple little hunches. Do you think it'll do burnouts, still? Tell the motor boss? I mean, yeah. you did weld the diff. It would be a shame not to try a burnout. Yeah, yeah, I think we should probably do might some burnouts well. with it.
<laughs> it's a Jeep thing. <laughs> Bro, you literally drove the wheel off of it. Dude, I couldn't see anything and then just a wheel game rolling by with half an axle. Oh, Did you not realize you lost your wheel? Okay, so honestly, I thought I had a flat tire. I could tell something was up. And I, I did a donut and I'm coming back this way and I see my wheel hit the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just rolled up to uh, me and CJ's Grandpa Ron's house. Grandpa Ron is a bit of a legend. We've done quite a few things with him, but the most legendary thing is when we had him pretend to be a blind man and took him bowling. Oh, Grandpa. Ooh. It was all fun and games until he kind of went off the cuff and may or may not have gotten a concussion. The family's still not very happy with us. He did that on his own. He we did told, that. We did not tell him to we fall. Did, we did not tell him to fall. So we're going to have him suit up again as blind man Grandpa Ron and uh, we're going to the driving range today. Ben's being his grandson today. I'm scarred from last time, dude. How's it going? Good, good, good. What's our plan? We're going golfing, going to the driving range and uh, yeah, go mess with some people. I'll just make it. I'm gonna pass on this. <laughs> oh, good. We'll try and bring him back in one piece this time, Grandma. Well. She doesn't give a shit if he ever bring me back. The legend himself, oh, man. What the I'm hell? excited to see you in action. How are you? I've seen you on your best behavior already, so I it's good. Gonna... best behavior. Well, let's say yeah, he's on know. his worst behavior. Yeah, we know that. Damn. Let's, uh, let's try and not get beat up today, huh? I'm getting beat up. You know, I had a great, I had, I, I don't tell my grandma. You say that so confidently. I know we say this every time, just do not hurt yourself. How can I do that? Well, you could walk out in Get front of somebody oh, hitting I'm the ball. You could walk behind them too close in their backswing. Yeah. You yeah. could jump in front of a golf cart. Cool. I don't know where you're, I shouldn't even have told you all these. Well, not, I could do that. Now your imagination is going to be running. Was, what's all happening on the other end up there? So there's four guys f***ing around. Right by the <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh... They're golfing. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> golfing, yeah. Going away over there, they're golfing. This is the driving range. I hope nobody recognizes me. <laughs> I, mean, I don't really give He's a shit. He's getting too famous, dude. No, I, I get from golf. I've been, I played these f***ing courses. Yeah. A number of times. I know a lot of golfers out here. <laughs> Just stay right there. I'm, not, I'm okay. Don't be wandering. I'm okay. Keep going straight. A little bit more now. Howdy. I, do you guys happen to have any teas? Aren't there any teas in my bag? Nope. We're, we're, we're hot. We're, nope. did, did you get some? Nope. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Oh, sorry about that. Well, thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. You mind maybe giving him a, a pointer or two? I, I've never golfed a day in my life, and I promised him I'd take him out to the range and help Where him out. Where am I at here, Ben? So, yeah, well, he's blind, so that doesn't really help. Oh, I don't know about that. All right, Grandpa, let her rip. She's right in front of you. Something happened to my club. You I lost think. the the head of your driver. Huh? Your driver broke, Grandpa. It did? Yeah. yeah it what was that tee made of? No, oh, it's, it's, just, it's just wood. It was a wood tee? Yeah. And it broke the driver clean off? Well, his, I didn't see the swing, so. Yeah. I don't know, Grandpa. I think that guy's tee broke your club. Right on the end here. Okay. All right. Now give me a five iron, I guess. Oh. Uh, yo, bro. Hey, bro. Could I borrow a couple balls? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking my. My grandpa, he's he's blind, so it's probably not gonna take too many of them. Thank you, man. All right, Gramps. What's that? I got you some balls here. Okay. Okay. What'd you say you wanted? I, I, let me let me do a five iron. Probably start with something a little bit smaller, you know. Like what? you're not gonna be hitting the back fence. You probably don't well, need I, a five I, iron. I can know so how how far is the fence? Farther than you can hit. Uh, okay. Okay. Balls right in front of you here. Okay. Here. Here, okay, my. Okay. Balls down here, Grandpa. Just follow my voice. You got it. I think so. Nice. That was better than most of the guys on the range here, huh? Really? Yeah, that was a good hit. Do you mind just watching him for a second? I gotta just take Bill Cosby to the old swimming pool real quick, you know? Just keep an eye on him. I'll be back in literally one minute. I got shit so bad. Oh! Don't let him drink. I promised my grandma I would keep him off the booze. I think that sounded pretty good. Where did he go? Could you do me a favor? You know where my bag's at? Yeah. Would you reach in there? There's a beer in there someplace. Would you grab it for me? Told me not to let you have one. Who did? Grandson. Oh, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm... <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable when I'm 50 feet away behind tinted feel? windows. Yeah, I know. He just unfortunately happened to be our grandpa, so he gets thrown into this stuff. Probably is honestly his fault that we're the way we are. You, you're still here? Did he leave me any balls around here? Here you go. 
well. That's where they are. Well, I think I hit more than one there, didn't I? Oh, I wasn't watching, sorry. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go over to the putting green, so I'll keep an eye and make sure your grandson comes back. Okay. How'd it go? Um, oh, good. Did he good. help you? He, I think he put the ball, a ball, all the balls down in front of me, and I hit a bunch at one time. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Did he? I, I yeah, I, I think so because it felt that way, but I don't know. Am I, <laughs> am I lined up? Yeah, you're lined up. He's like, he told me like, I don't think he's actually blind. Uh, he he's said uh, that? Yeah, he's like, his, damn, what a his, dick. His kid or something's hammered. He just left me alone. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, let's go. Thank you.